So raising children in female and family can be a challenge, but it's also a rewarding experience. Being a modern parent can be difficult at times. You can be rest assured that whatever you're doing during their development to help them to thrive in a rapidly changing world filled with confusing labels, new gender identities, the freedom to live as you desire model, and female power and female supremacy will only benefit them tremendously. No, no matter the era, parents should always focus on developing strong and healthy relationships with children by having frequent, honest conversations about modern topics. Let your children know that you value their opinion and ideas and are open to listening to them. Try to create consistent routines and boundaries that your children can rely on. Parents who teach their daughters to be confident, to achieve and be strong and courageous, raise queens and leaders of tomorrow. The more you empower your daughters to pursue their dreams and fearlessly be whoever they want to be, the more prepared they will be in a female-led world. Boys are often confused as to their place in a female-led world, and they need guidance and reassurance as to how to treat these new dominant women and how to respect and accept female power and leadership. Boys will witness girls who are much more take charge and confident at school and at play, and they need only to show respect and understanding. I feel that society tries to prevent change, but as parents embracing change and preparing children to be successful in a new world, it's key. Communication is the key in all relationships, including the parent-child relationship. Parents in female-led relationships and female-led marriages tend to have increased communication with kids because they're witnessing the future. And they need to understand that though they live in a different type of household to their friends, it presents an opportunity to embrace change and the future. Girls must be taught to still be respectful to their brothers and boys around them, even though they're feeling superior. Boys need to respect a girl's desire to compete and achieve, as well as her leadership qualities. Parenting in 2023 will continue to involve many traditional practices, such as providing love, support, and guidance to children. However, the advent of new technologies and cultural shifts, some new considerations may also arise. As the world becomes increasingly interconnected and global, parents may want to expose their children to different cultures, different languages, promoting open-mindedness and cross-cultural understanding. Raising children with an understanding and acceptance of gender identity is an important aspect of female-led parenting in 2023. This involves recognizing that gender is not binary and encouraging children to explore and express their own gender identity in a safe and supportive environment. Parents can start by educating themselves on gender diversity and avoid reinforcing stereotypes or assumptions about gender roles. They can also provide their children with opportunities to learn about and interact with people of different gender identities and expressions and be open to discussing any questions or concerns their children may have. It may also be important for parents to advocate for their children's rights and support their gender identity in various settings, such as schools, medical facilities, community organizations. Now, finally, parents can emphasize the importance of respect, empathy, and inclusivity towards people of all gender identities and expressions, promoting a world where everyone is valued and accepted for who they are. My book, Mommy's in Charge, how to raise kids in a female-led family will give you a guide on the best way to prepare your children for a female-led world and actively educate them about gender identity, gender roles, female empowerment, and more. You will be doing the absolute best to prepare your girls and boys for a female-led future. The future is female, so get my book, Mommy's in Charge.